everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day two of 26 days living on the edge. Cruise ship, that is. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, we woke up around seven. Mm -hmm. We went for a walk on the jogging track. It was an absolutely gorgeous morning. Nice and breezy. It was actually quite windy. Yes, it was very But there was windy. not a lot of humidity in the air. It was very cool. It felt very good. Mm -hmm. We walked around the jogging track three times. We are going to attempt to increase that lap around one a day. Mm -hmm. and so three times, well, two and a half times is a mile. Yes. Right, so. so we did a little bit over a mile. It's a cool track because it goes from deck 15 and then there's an elevation that goes up to 16 so there's a, a hill and it's uh um, hills and curves and yeah. it's good yeah. so it's not you're not having the same walking pattern mm -hmm. the entire time it's 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 a nice little workout and after we walked we went straight to lumine and we had a lovely light breakfast of yogurt and berries because we had lunch plans at Le Grand Bistro. Oh, what a restaurant. After breakfast, we went down to Cafe Abaccio and had a coffee and sat and just relaxed for a little mm -hmm. bit. And then we came back to our cabin and we did a little bit of work. We started doing a little editing on the videos that we did the day before. And then at 12 o'clock, we had reservations for lunch at Le Grand Bistro. We're trying new restaurants this time around. And we have a video of that. We're going to do a video of all the new experiences that we have. So there'll be lots of new videos coming. And we actually have several reservations at Le Grand Bistro. They only serve lunch. Mm -hmm. So in the mornings, it's just like a little pastry shop. It's directly across from Cafe Omaccio. And then they serve lunch. It's one of the specialty restaurants. So there is a fee for it. And in the evening, that same spot is La Petite Chef for dinner. That's a different specialty restaurant. So we had lunch there, and after we had lunch... We came back to the uh, villa, and we worked a little bit. We did. We, yeah. we did. we did several hours of work. And then we ordered room service. Yes. Because we had a big lunch. And we had a little bit of a timeline that we wanted to meet last night. So last night's show the headliner was a friend travis clore yes. and travis is an incredibly talented man the very first time we saw travis was in jersey boys he played the role of frankie valley and he holds the title of the longest running performer to play frankie valley and to play in jersey boys worldwide there's a reason he's incredibly talented he played so, a little bit on broadway and then he went to vegas and he played the show for eight years in vegas at, at uh, paris, paris in vegas right. and we saw him there then fast forward to last july july of 2022 and john and i were on the celebrity equinox and we went to the show and lo and behold there's travis on stage doing his show and John and I looked at each other and said, he looks awfully familiar. Is he the guy that we saw in Jersey Boys in the Frankie Valley role? And sure enough, John approached him after the show and it, it was him and we exchanged social media information. And coincidentally, we were both on the Equinox about two weeks later. Right. And we invited him to have dinner with us and he graciously agreed to sit down and do an interview. If you would like to see that interview along with the full version of his show that he did on the Equinox, we have that as a video on our YouTube channel. It's a, a, about a 10 minute interview. We sit down and chat and then it's his show and he's, he's incredibly talented. If you look him up online, you'll find lots of things yeah. that he's done, a lot of his videos and things. So we've, we've become friends with him and he was in a play in Vegas, Bad Out of Hell, based on the Meatloaf music, and he played the uh, one of the mayor, uh, 
the, the, yeah, the, the, the mayor, one of the lead roles of that. And we went to Las Vegas and, and saw him in that. And in the opening coincidentally, night, yes. he was on this ship performing and we went to see his show last night and we just think he's phenomenal. So we went to see his show again. We went to the seven and the nine. And in between the two, we had a little time to kill. So we went to Future Cruises and we inquired about what offer we have. And John and I each have a complimentary veranda that we can book. And so we'll be doing that. We can book it up to 24 months out. So we'll be looking to book that in early April of 2025. Then we went back to the nine o'clock show and saw Travis again. And after that, we went to the casino. Yes, we did. And we had a lot of fun. We played for almost four hours. Mm -hmm. We lost a little bit of the money, but it's still their money. So we're having a great time with it. We had some ups and downs and mm -hmm. and yeah. all in all, it was it was definitely a good night and a lot of fun. Yeah. Came back to our cabin about 1230. And last night was the first of six, change the clock ahead one hour. So last night we moved the clock ahead an hour and I understand that it's going to be like every other mm -hmm. night that we're going to be moving ahead because we're going to Europe and the time difference is six hours. Yes. So. Also, I forgot to mention, we had a phone call in the afternoon. Yes. Hmm. We had a phone call yesterday afternoon from Mike the one of the concierges at the retreat lounge and he said they had a special invitation for us and he asked if we would like to attend a special luncheon and that's today at noon and he said i'll send you an invitation and here's a picture of the invitation and it's dear mr and mrs davidson our senior officers would like to cordially invite you for an exclusive luncheon tomorrow in Fine Cut Steakhouse, Wednesday, 19th of April at noon. Please meet us in front of the Fine Cut Steakhouse on Deck 5 Midship at 1155. Warmest regards, Penelope, Jonathan, Mike, and AG, your retreat team. So we'll see what that's about. And additionally, we'll be dining in Eden tonight, which is another great restaurant. And Travis will be joining us as our guest. Yes, as, we look and, forward to spending some time and catching up with him. Yes, and... Um, and I'm sure we'll be going to the casino again, but we will tell you about today, tomorrow morning. Right. And on that note, that does it for us for day two of 26 days living on the edge and again thank you for watching we appreciate your support yes. and as always we hope you have a wonderful day